This is the focus effect. And today I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you'll do is go through and make cuts at the points you want to be in the video. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to cut out the points I want to be in this video. Um, and again, about 10 frames each. And once you do that, you'll have something that looks like this. Yeah, just normal cuts of, of cool parts of the video you want. Most of them are 10 frames, but there are some at the end that are a bit shorter. And the effect I'll show you how to do will work on any length clips. I just prefer my cuts to have some contrast in editing speed. So it starts out about 10 frames each, and then it gets a bit uh, quicker towards the end. You can have your clips be any length, short, fast, doesn't matter any will work. The main thing is that you make your cuts with a lot of different clips. Um, 10 or 11 will work. If you're enjoying this video so far, might as well subscribe. We're a small channel. Any engagement really helps. And we have a ton of tutorials. You don't want to miss any. Back to the video. Next, you'll go to this button right here, new item, and make it an adjustment layer. Drag your adjustment layer right above your clips and cut it down to six frames. Usually I just start at the beginning of my layer, use the key on my keyboard, go one, two, three, four, five, six, and cut it down right there. Now you'll bring this right directly above your first two clips in the center. Make sure it's one, two, three frames, one, two, three frames, so you know it's directly center. Now go to effects, search directional blur, add it to your adjustment layer, change direction to 75, and then go to the start of your adjustment layer, keyframe blur length at zero, go to the middle, keyframe blur length at 60, then go to the end and keyframe blur length back to zero. And now you have this little effect. So all you do now is duplicate your adjustment layer. And now every time you want this transition, just make sure it's centered and there you go. So I'm just gonna duplicate this a bunch of times for each time I have a cut, like this, like this. And as you can see, you can cut these clips really quickly and the effect still works. As long as you have three frames in between your clips because that's how long the transition is, you're good. And now when you do that, your video will look like this. Super easy, pretty fun transition. And it's all it takes to get it done. Don't forget to check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more.